Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's tutorial, we will see how to decommissioning the worker node. In order to decommissioning worker node, we have to go to the Ambari console, select the host. Once you select the host, you will see all the nodes associated in this current Hadoop environment. Select the one of the node, we will select node 3. And you will see the more details about that node like what is the summary data node uh, with, uh, if you want to start uh, what is the condition it is started the commissioner or stop or it is in the maintenance mode then we can have the matrix Ambari matrix particularly start stop and turn on maintenance matrix then we have the node manager that will be more relevant to the yarn so all these things are mentioned in this view. Along that we have the configuration section where we can configure the Hadoop uh, no host related properties. What is the name node, what is the data node which is being used in this particular node. Even along with that we can change the heap size server, uh, name node server thread field uh, disk tolerance for the data node maximum java heap size for the data node along with that we have the advanced property which are particularly hdfs in that node then we have the alert and version etc for decommissioning we have to go to the host action and very first thing we need to do is turn on the maintenance mode click on ok maintenance mode has been turned on it may take few minutes for the alerts to suppress we can say ok once it is done we'll get, we should get uh, we got that pop up and the next thing is At menu button, a new message should occur. Host is in the maintenance mode. Right now, it is. If you sign, if you see at the right corner, host is in maintenance mode. So that means our current mode, uh, current current node is in maintenance mode. Now the next thing we have to find out the uh, data node which is listed for this node three. So for that we, what we have to do, we have to go to the started menu button and select the decommissioning. So let's go to the summary and we can see that data node started, we, we have to make it this decommission. Then the pop-up which came which is saying are you sure you want to decommissioning make, then click on the ok for that. We have to monitor the background operations which are currently running until the decommissioning decommission data node process has been completed. So, so once it is completed, if you see the de de decommission data node is completed, click on OK. Now by now the data if you see the status of the data node, it is decommissioned. If you are going to take the node offline we can also stop the data node process if we click on the commission then we can see the recommission stop turn off maintenance mode In the uh, in this window if you click on the stop so actually it is going to stop the processing so we can click ok and just we have to wait for this background process to complete we just completed uh, a data node the next thing is we have to we have to do similar activity for the node manager so node manager, click on the node manager, click on the decommission, 
click on ok yes we want to decommission the node manager as well and once this process is complete we can see the status for the data node is decommissioned now the, the whatever you we make these changes ambari updates the dfs.exclude and yarn.exclude file by adding the host names of the decommission data node and the node manager we can view this content of this file by going to do the host so here we are at the root level if you do the more etc hadoop conf dfs dot exclude node 3 we can see this dfs exclude has the node 3 similarly we can see inside the dfs etc hadoop yarn dot exclude so in both dfs dot exclude and yarn dot exclude those got updated with the node 3 once we decommission those now how can we recommission the worker node in order to recommission the worker node what we have to do we have to start the data node process by clicking decommission menu button and selecting start so first we have to start the data node process so click that and click on the start click ok in order to this is going to be do the recommissioning so we have to start that Once it is done, means we just started the data node, now we have to recommission it. Click on the recommission, click on OK confirmation box, and this is the operation going on. After recommissioning data node, we have to recommission the node manager as well. How to do that? Very straightforward decommission. We have not stopped this, so but we'll just start this. Means use this recon recommission. Click on this pop-up box. Once this uh, recommissioning is successful, Ambari updates the dfs dot exclude and yarn dot exclude by removing those host name which are just recommission we can view those content in this file uh, by going to the data uh, command line but yeah we are ready to go there let's run the few the same command again and check out so first we'll check the dfs there is no entry in the dfs.exclude and there is no entry in the yarn.exclude that means none of the node is in the decommissioning mode this is the way by using uh, we actually decommission the nodes but it, it will not still receive the request because host is in maintenance mode we have to turn off the maintenance node by going at the host action and turn off maintenance mode click on ok it is saying maintenance mode has been turned off it may take a few minutes for alerts to be enabled we can click ok By this way, we can enable, uh, we can decommission and recommission the node. I hope this tutorial will help you to understand how to decommission and recommission the data node. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice time.